Hey, it's Petra, and I am meditating under the redwood tree and the flowering quince and the persimmon. And I'm thinking about intimacy in connections and how it's really bringing yourself your whole self and allowing the other person to see it, how intimacy requires vulnerability. This is the Aries Libra axis. And I've been thinking about how many people, how often we try to create intimacy or create connection by accommodating the other person, accommodating their needs or their time or whatever. Just trying to accommodate the other is often what we do to try to create connection and how that actually functions to create the opposite actually creates more space between the two people like like you might think that you're showing support and that you care and that you want to connect and all this stuff by accommodating the other person but how it actually feels from the other side when someone accommodates you is you can't really see them right it obscures who you are it obscures your how you feel your authenticity um your light and it creates this draw like it you draw back you're actually drawing back from the connection when you try to accommodate the other person. And that's that Libra principle. And then the Aries principle, it's like we always think about Aries as separating and being, you know, conflict and all this other stuff. But I'm just thinking about how that is actually what intimacy is, is the Aries, not the Libra. It's like, when you really show somebody your heart and show somebody what you think and your vulnerability and you know your stance on things and that's when someone sees you can see you the other person can actually relate to you and connect with you and connection is created when both parties are able to do that, right? And <laughs> it's just funny, it's just like flipped around in my head, like <laughs> we think about Libra as the relationship sign. And we think about Venus as that relationship sign and And we think about Aries as the selfish sign, but I'm just noticing that like drawing back action that happens when we accommodate, um, which creates more space in between the two parties, which, yeah, you need that. You need to do that. But that's not actually how you create intimacy. It might be how you create balance, how you create stability, how you create things that, you know, function in a certain way. Or it's like, that's how you... You know, kind of get the relationship to balance out or get it to work out or create some kind of outcome or... Right, that's that. <laughs> but if you don't, it, that's not intimacy, right? Intimacy itself is being present with each other. So it's 
different. It's just different. It's not, it's like relationship dynamics when you're, yeah, bringing your, your authentic self and your full self to the table is actually what creates intimacy. And then you temper that, right? Then you figure out how to accommodate each other. And you balance that, right? You Anyways, happy Aries season. <laughs>